Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to Muggle Magic. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to remind you that I'll be giving away this Marauder's Map. Um, this is the new version that I did a few videos back with the hidden footprints and the reversible cover. The way this is going to work is when my channel hits 2,000 subscribers, one of you is going to win this map. Setting that aside, have you ever wanted to brand yourself with the dark mark, but you don't really want to make it a life commitment? Well, now you can. Today, we'll be doing temporary tattoos of the dark mark, and it's really easy, surprisingly easy. As long as you have a printer, this can be an inkjet or a laser printer, it doesn't matter. And then you also have to order the silhouette tattoo paper. And I'm going to link that in the description box below. You'll also want to visit the link in the description to instructables.com where you can download the free templates for the Dark Mark tattoo as well as other various Harry Potter tattoos. Or you could use your own images that you download online. You just have to remember to mirror these before you print them. So you'll want to flip them horizontally. This is because when you actually put it on your skin, it's going to be a mirrored image of what's on the paper. So here's the silhouette printable tattoo paper. I have never used this before, so this is kind of going to be a review at the same time for you guys. And it has instructions on the back, so we'll be following along with those and hopefully the tattoos will turn out pretty good. Let's open this paper up. Apparently there is a green sheet, which is the uh, adhesive transfer paper. So let's just take a look at what we get. So here's the adhesive sheets. Looks like we have two of those and we get two sheets of paper. Okay, so you'll need to download uh, the tattoo templates that I provided completely free. I've got a sheet of just random Harry Potter stuff, including uh, the dark mark. Or you can just download your own and print them out on this if you'd like. And uh, the instructions said to make sure that you print on the glossy side of the paper. So we'll be printing on this side. So make sure you know which side is gonna come out uh, printed on. So I, I suggest uh, just taking a piece of paper, regular paper, putting an X on it, feeding it into your printer and printing on that just to see which side actually the ink goes on. And then make sure that you put the uh, tattoo paper in facing the right direction. So go ahead and do that and get your tattoos printed. This is what your uh, printed sheet should look like. Now you have to wait till the ink dries before you apply the adhesive sheet onto your tattoos. So just peel up a little bit of one side of this paper, line it up with the tattoos on the tattoo paper, and then use some type of credit card. I'm using just this to uh, smooth out any bubbles and make sure that your paper is clean before you do this. You don't want to get any dirt or dust stuck under this. Get rid of any bubbles. You don't want bubbles. There we go. We've got the adhesive paper. Work out any bubbles you might have in there. If there are bubbles, I'm guessing that that ink that those bubbles are on will not transfer properly. So just smooth it out and keep going until you have the very least amount of bubbles possible. I think that looks about right. We have three dark marks, three Deathly Hollow symbols, three Hogwarts seals, three uh, little glasses with uh, lightning bolt icons, two nice portraits of Dobby, and then these two are actually um, the Triforce from The Legend of Zelda with the uh, Deathly Hollows kind of mirrored. I know that the Triforce is not from Harry Potter, but still. I think it's a pretty cool tattoo. Now, one thing that I forgot to do is flip this image. Oops. So Hogwarts is actually gonna be backwards if I put it on my arm um, because it's actually mirroring. Before I upload this template, I'll make sure that I have it flipped so that you don't have backwards tattoos. So when you print it out, everything should look backwards here, but when you transfer it onto your skin, it's going to be the right way. Next, we're just going to cut out our tattoos. So just use your scissors and cut out all of these. I'm just gonna cut out one of the dark marks Now that the dark mark is cut out, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and apply it onto my forearm here. So to do that, we need to peel off the adhesive. Oop, it's already, it's starting to peel the, uh, starting to peel the ink up a little bit, actually. We don't want that. We want to keep the ink on the paper. There we go. That's kind of working. Okay, well, 
Some of the ink, as you can see, came off on this plastic sheet, but most of it stayed on here. I don't know if that has anything to do with this being a laser printer. Maybe an inkjet wouldn't do that, I'm not sure. I'm just going to line up the tattoo where I want it on my forearm, and stick it on, and then take a damp cloth. This is actually a paper towel, or a couple of paper towels, and just get the paper wet. Hold it on for about 10 or 15 seconds, probably. Like that, oh, and you can see that it's already smearing. Okay, so maybe it doesn't have to be completely saturated, but let's see how easy this comes off. Okay, the paper is coming off. Hey, that looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's kind of shiny, but I think once it dries, that shininess might go away. And if, even if it doesn't, it's pretty good for a homemade fake tattoo. So if you want to dark mark yourself, I definitely recommend getting this paper. It's pretty awesome. I really hope this helped you out with whatever you're gonna use this for. And I've thought a lot about the giveaway for this video because I wasn't sure whether I should print out the Harry Potter tattoos on the paper and send it to you that way, or just send you blank pages of the printer paper and that way you can just print whatever tattoos that you want to use. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. The giveaway for this video is just going to be one package of the tattoo paper. And now to announce the winner of my last video, which was how to make aged Harry Potter potion bottles. And the winner is Suzanne. Congratulations, and send me an email at danny at mugglemagic.net. You'll find the link to that email in the description box below. And just send me a message letting me know where I can send your prize to. Also in the description box, you're gonna find links to all the supplies I used in this video, as well as all of my social media accounts. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.